Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the What Are You Creating Today Challenge or alternatively SAB's 81 day drop-in creativity challenge and I'm looking like this today. I'm in my local park and as Chris said somewhere so we're basically going to go for a walk and a wander with SAB and yeah that's basically what you're going to do and so it's day two. I've made it to day two. Isn't that amazing? I'm in my local park. You can have a look around. It's a tiny little park. I mean, it's not a, it's a modest one. They've got a bowling thing. Uh, balls, not sort of traditional English bowling where a, a ball rolls gently along a manicured lawn, but uh, they throw these metal balls in the air and they smash down and they try and get it close to the puck. And um, yeah, so I'm just wandering around and people look at, are looking at me slightly strangely. So uh, they're probably wondering if I'm filming them or something, which I'm not, um, unless they run up behind me and then I will. And uh, Thomas, I, I just saw a little bird sneaking under a hedge there. It's rather nice. And as Thomas said yesterday, um, oh, I've just found something very interesting. I found a gold coin next to a bunch of poo. Let's investigate this. Uh, so I don't know what you can see. What can you see there? Um, that's me. This is a gold coin. There you are. Uh, next to a lump of poo. How interesting. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Thomas said the other uh, did a, a couple of nice pictures, and they um, they look like this because I'm going to show you. This is the first one, and it's of a tree that's been chopped down, and it started growing again, which is really pretty cool. And he took a new picture, which is this. You can see it along the edge of the the road that he's travelling on. You can see those stumps, and they have actually started to sprout again. And I was rather sad a little while ago because about five big trees from this tiny park were chopped down. They said they were rotten. You can see maybe, you can see one in the distance there and another one here. You know, huge trees chopped down, um, which was such a shame. And yet look what's happening. This is all splendid new growth sprouting out of the edge of the the trunk that has been chopped off you know it's it's real good uh, it's very very fresh buds about to about to go so that's pretty cool <laughs> so uh, let me give you my mindfulness quote for the uh, for the day and i'm going to take it from mindful thoughts for bird watchers and i can hear a bird chirping and i just saw one so it's kind of appropriate so what i do is i basically open it at any random page and read any random passage and enjoy it and get mindful so it's from this mindful thoughts for bird watchers i'm not a bird watcher as such i'm probably gonna walk in that poo in a minute and this is what it says lives entwined some birds have become habituated to follow humankind a natural link developing between the two species. We share our world. Our lives are entwined together. After the last ice age, it did not take long for seed-eating sparrows to discover the benefits of the agricultural revolution. Now they are to be found happily chirping whenever, wherever human beings settle in the farmyard and by the corn store, in city and village. The European robin, an alert companion to many gardeners, is happy to perch close to human beings, feet, while keeping a watchful eye for worms and bugs as the soil is turned. There is strong evidence to suggest that originally the robin was a follower of wild boar, which dug up the turf for roots until we came along and they transferred their interest to us. Are we, in their view, simply a more useful species of pig, doing their digging for them? Sometimes we have cultivated this affinity between wild birds and ourselves for our own benefit. The hen, scratching in backyards the world over, so valued for its eggs, 
is the domesticated version of the Asian jungle fowl. We guard the bird carefully from foxes by securing the hen coop at night. So there you go, that was my little reading from Mindfulness Thoughts for Bird Watchers, which is a, from a very nice series. Uh, I'd like to show you a couple of other photographs from people who have been creative. Um, Angela, actually Angela, in the Today's the Day group, she received a present from me today, which was one of my little squares, and she was so pleased with it. And she, she took photographs of it, there it is. So the envelopes arrived, I put nice stamps on there, and she's got her cute little square and she said she really liked it. So she took the photographs, these photographs, which is so sweet. I was very, very touched to see that she liked what I had sent her. And there she is, looking happy, I think you will agree. <laughs> and she is a wonderfully creative person and she created these, this sort of village thing out of, can you guess? Uh, egg, um, uh, milk cartons. And there are holes, I think there are holes, round windows, which were the original bits where the milk came out. Really fantastic. Uh, so that is Angela. And I'll show you a bit of my creativity as well. My creativity, recent creativity. At the moment I'm doing this series. Got a kid screaming its head off over there. Go and kill it in a minute or something. No, joking. Um, so I'm doing this uh, series at the moment, 81 day series, another 81 day, day series of painting to get my painting going. And every day, or every, every one of the 81 days, because I say I do it in 81 days, but I didn't say which 81 days, ha ha. So I take a, it's another excuse for a self-portrait. So I do these dodgy self-portraits. That's a rainbow, rainbow jigsaw thing happening there. And a picture of where I am. So that is the same as the little square that you saw earlier from uh, Angela. If you look at those, they turn into something like this. So that's me with a rainbow uh, waterfall of jigsaw pieces. That's where my latest thing is at. By the way, if you want to leave comments, feel free and I'll look at them at the end. I won't look at them now because otherwise it gets a bit messy and it's not very nice to watch. Um, for people on the replay, by the way, hello if you're watching the replay. Uh, here's another one. Basically, I grab anything that's around me as I'm doing my pictures and uh, I'm at the point of taking a photograph and I try and do a, a photograph with it. There, I've, I've signed it, you see, Sab, can you see that? It's not, it's not actually finished. It's a hot, that's nine pictures of nine altogether. And here's another one, me becoming the jigsaw man. And that's me starting to paint them white as the base. And uh, finally, I'll give you this little, this pretty grim looking thing. And this is my photo of the day from about a day ago. And I thought, oh my goodness, what are they doing in Paris? Is this a new housing estate? I don't believe it, but I think it's actually sort of uh, porter cabins for people who are building a new quarter in Paris. And there's a text which goes with it. I don't know if that'll be readable, but uh, put it up for a second. So, um, yeah, I want to encourage you to be creative. So part of this creative challenge thing is for you to be creative and for you to contribute something creative underneath the video, wherever you see this video, you might see it on YouTube or my Facebook profile or in one of the groups like Infinite Creativity Now group or the Today's the Day group, for example. Why don't you post some of your creativity like the ones, the guys I just showed you did and I will feature you tomorrow. Uh, so I want, to, I want you to be as creative as you possibly would love to be. Uh, that's part of what I'm doing here. And uh, it's such a pleasure to see people creating things. Because I said they should. <laughs> or at least with a little bit of encouragement from me. I wanted to read you a poem as well. I'm just going to throw anything that comes to me here. And I don't know if it's going to work because the words end up being very small. But it's, um, I thought I'd churn through the archives a bit because you know I've got so much stuff and it never sees the light of day so I'm going to throw um, it was a poem that I wrote many years ago many years maybe 20 more than 20 years ago walking by the canal Saint Martin in Paris they've got lovely bridges and it's a lo lovely quiet canal and it was called walk so as I'm walking I'm going to try and read this for you but it's very small let me try walk hazy Sunday friendly fun day Lazy chats and who needs Monday? 
A favourite place, a cheerful face, a glowing sun and a carefree place. Lock that heaves midst autumn leaves, we heal the world in woolly sleeves. With hands thrust deep, we walk and weep, and talk of things we too shall keep. No need to touch, our words say much, a love for life and friends and such. The breeze it licks while distance ticks, a timepiece as at life it picks. Memories call, reflections fall, beneath the surface feelings sprawl. We laugh and smile, we gently rile, our heads we turn and pause a while. Now chill sets in, goose pimply skin, the cafe nears, we glance and grin. There you are, poem for the day from many, many, many years ago. Oh, I can actually still remember the walk that inspired that, funnily enough. So that's basically it for today. Uh, is it? Yes. Oh, I had an inspiring quote for you, actually. Um, uh, a quote from, if I can find him, where's he gone? It's a quote from Andy Warhol, apparently, because uh, I'm writing something for my masterclass on on creativity. I've lost the card, never mind. And it was a, a quote from Andy Warhol. He, it was either he who said it or his honorary muse. He had some guy in his life who was an honorary muse, and it's not clear who said what. And it's, uh, I probably won't remember now, it's, um, art is anything you can get away with. Art is anything you can get away with. And I thought that was pretty cool, pretty funny, because uh, I was, sometimes people ask me what I do, and I've stopped saying, I'm an artist or I'm a coach or anything like that. I say things like, well, I, I paint and I help people to be more creative. And then I was thinking to myself, um, well, look, I've, I've never studied art, so I couldn't really teach because someone might ask me, so you can teach art then if you paint. And then I thought, well, I've never learned to teach art. So no, I don't think I could. And, um, then they might say, but you can teach people to be more creative. And then I thought about that as well. And I thought, well, what can I teach? I can't really teach art as such because I've never learned art. And I can't teach a given person to be more creative because I'm not that person. And I don't know how they would be creative. So I was kind of thinking, well, what the hell do I do? And I, I guess I basically encourage people to create because I can't tell them how to create because I'm not them. Only they can create. Only you can create the way you will create. I can't tell you how to create. And I can't teach you how to create because I've never studied it. Any, any, you know, really, really studied things. I have studied a couple of things, but not painting. So basically all I do, I think, is encourage people to create. <laughs> That's what it comes down to, through creating myself. So, um, yeah, that was a little ponder I had. By the way, I'm going to have a look at the comments in case anyone's left any. Feel free, if you're watching the replay, to, to leave comments. I had someone watch this. I asked them to look at it, the first one, and tell me what they think, thought, thunk. And their first comment was, um, could you make it shorter? So, uh, <laughs> thanks for that. No, <laughs> I, I probably said they quite liked it as well, but uh, I have problems making things short. Kind of a long guy. And um, that's pretty much it. So, I've, uh, that'll do for today. Um, I did want to feature one more person's creativity, and that person is, dun, 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 where is she? There we are, Kirsten. Kirsten from the, well, not from, but uh, I know her in the Today's the Day group and the Infinite Creativity Now group. An amazing artist, and she did. The, she's contributed this beautiful portrait recently. So Kirsten, thanks for contributing. And Kirsten, I think you've got a piece, um, a little puzzle piece, an infinity squared puzzle piece on the way. If you people watching are interested in my puzzle pieces, then you can, let me just sort this out, then you can go here. You can visit the Infinity Squared Connective project. It's a website and you can adopt puzzle pieces if you'd like to, and I think you should. You can have something like Chris, like um, Angular had in Greece. And uh, also, I think I think I'm pretty much done. I just want to say to uh, that I'm I'm doing a mastermind. I'm starting masterminds, and therefore creative people who want to be even more creative, or for people who would love to be creative in a way that they haven't been so far. I hope the wind isn't troubling you. I know I have problems with wind. I'll have to get a proper microphone. So if you want to 
check out my mastermind, which will be starting as soon as I have enough people. And it's a small thing. There'll be like, between four and six people. Very, very uh, intimate and powerful mastermind. Um, then go to this website. Go to infinitecreativitynow.com slash mastermind and check it out and see what you think. It's, uh, it's over several weeks. It's not forever. It's a certain amount of time, about nine weeks. And we work together, see each other every week. And powerful mastermind things happen. And you can check it out by going to that... Uh, that link. That's it, folks. That was my. So that's 15 minutes. And I don't know if that's too long or not. But um, anyway, it is what it is. And I hope you like it. I would like you to create something and if possible, contribute it in any of the comments sections underneath. And I will feature it tomorrow. Okay, this is Sab on my uh, 81 day drop in creativity challenge it's really me creating me challenging myself and anyone else who wants to join me you can create 81 days in a row one day in a row or not at all i don't mind but uh be creative in some way if you can that's it for now and i'll see you again same place same time tomorrow no not the same time i don't know when <laughs> but the same place on my phone tomorrow bye for now no i'm gonna look at the comments in case there are any whoops no there, there don't seem to be any Oof. Okay, but do leave comments if you're watching the replay. I don't expect you to watch live because you don't know when I'm going live, but please leave comments uh, on the replay so that I know that you've watched it and um, got something out of it. What did you get out of it? That's my question. Bye for now.